for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Another GOP debate is upon us. A time to see how much attention will be allotted to establishment candidates who are dragging in the polls. These are Republican governors. They don't give any credit to the free market. They don't give any credit to the entrepreneur. All is not lost, though. Some are speaking on real issues. But if you're not going to respond in a no-fly zone yeah. strategy, what would yours be? The first thing I would do is I wouldn't arm our enemies. I wouldn't arm yes. ISIS. Yes. Will controversial statements impact some of the candidates? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Join InfoWars this Tuesday, December 15th, starting at 7 p.m. Central for another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. Well, that's right. The InfoWars Nightly News will be coming at you live next Tuesday. We'll be giving you our Debate coverage in political science theater, 3K style, once again. And full disclosure, we will be talking over the politicians. Yes. So if or you want to hear real truth, <laughs> you want to hear the lies broken down in real time, tune in to us. Now, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting debate this time around. Yeah. Um, it seems like at the present moment, they might be trying to uh, kick Rand Paul out of the debate, saying he doesn't have the numbers to be there, which is a shame because they also said that he won the last GOP debate. Right, back in mid-November. I mean, he was one of the only yeah. ones there that was like speaking out and bringing some constitutional truth to this debate, calling people out on their hypocrisy, saying, hey, you're running to be the president and you don't even want to uphold the Constitution. Yeah, I think anything they can do to get rid of the Pauls, um, you know, they're just persona non grata right. there. We also have Ben Carson, who's threatened to leave the uh, Republican Party if they don't play fair. On Friday, he blasted the Republican National Committee, uh, Committee following a Washington Post report that nearly two dozen establishment party figures were prepping for a potential brokered convention as Donald Trump continues to lead in the polls. And this goes to a whole bunch of stuff. I had uh, a guest in here, Richard Reeves, who's gonna our, be our political correspondent going out covering the uh, uh, primaries and caucuses um, that are gonna be in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. But this is the big story that nobody's talking about. Basically, they the Republicans know they can't get Jeb Bush more than 15%. That's 15% morons in this country will vote for Jeb Bush. <laughs> so they have sandbagged you know, the entire flotilla of Republican no good do wells to get them in there and just to clutter up the mix just so Jeb Bush can remain at that 15% and they could kind of maybe degrade Donald Trump. They've got Kasich in there attacking him. But you know, Donald Trump, if he wins, they're going to have a uh, an end around play with that, and we're going to play that clip in a second. But he's basically said he's not going to go third party. He pledged that back in uh, September. I think it was September 3rd. Yeah, it was out of the Wall Street Journal. He said, there's no way I'm going to go third party. But then December 9th, he's on with uh, live with Kelly and Michael. That's Kelly Ripa and Michael Strahan. And he said, you know what? I may run independent if they treat me badly. Right. And if he does that, people are saying Politico just came out and they said it, the, there's no way the GOP is going to win if Trump goes third party, because he's gonna take so many other people with him. They're gonna say, no, we're voting with Trump. It's gonna be like what happened with Ross Perot. And what happened last time Ross Perot was in an election? We got a Clinton in the White House. Right. So that's definitely gonna play by the plans because if they do do this brokered convention and just force Jeb Bush on people, you're gonna see fireworks, but you're still gonna have a, a Hillary Jeb election, which right. I've, I think I predicted that a few months ago. Well, That's I just, gonna happen. oh my goodness, please do not say that. But I just, you know, I think it's pretty frightening the fact that they can kind of steal the election in this way. But what's going to happen if Donald Trump does win the nomination? Well, yesterday I had Richard Reeves sitting in this very seat, and this is what he heard from his inside sources. If it looks like Trump is going to win the nomination, folks, then the scuttle butt is the inside track rumor uh, from sources that we have, are that Barack Obama will either indict and or arrest Hillary Clinton right around the time of the Democrat, Democratic National Convention, right about the time of the DNC, and that what they will do is they will trot in Joe Biden, yeah. who is no better than Hillary. We all know that. But they somehow, the powers of be, seem, seem to think that Joe Biden could potentially beat Donald Trump, and Joe Biden will have 
unlimited funds, just as Hillary would as a nominee. So watch for that. Literally the yank surprise. the lesbian witch out with a hook and install creepy Uncle Joe. So very explosive uh, comments there from Richard Reeves that Hillary could just be sent to prison if Trump were to win the nomination. Right. And I guess that's why it's so important as an American becoming a delegate and just making sure that the person who who is going to get the popular vote is actually then nominated to go on. Exactly. Now, you know, one thing I do want to be very critical on Trump, he said a couple things in the last couple of days that I'm very critical of. Mm -hmm. One, he would consider a gun ban for people on the no fly list. And uh, that's something that the rest of the GOP has kind of balked at. And what's interesting about the no-fly list is we had those hearings that we were playing some clips from on the Alex Jones show today. And here's what one of these uh, these bureaucrats, these idiot bureaucrats, said about the no-fly list. They know nothing about it. Can you tell me? Uh, can you tell me anything about the no-fly list? Then you can't tell me anything about those. Uh, how does a person get put on uh, the, the criteria for that? Tell me. Can you tell me anything about that? Sure. The no-fly list is a subset of the overall terrorist screening database. Um, the interagency works together. The terror screening database is owned and operated by the Terror Screening Center, as I, as I said earlier. Um, there are criteria to get on that that, that are... Uh, How many American are citizens to... are on that list right now? Can you I'm give sorry, me that sir. number? How many American citizens are on the no-fly list right now? I know there are American citizens on the list. It is an extremely small number, but I don't have my numbers with me. But again, that's something I can easily get back to Ms. you. Ms. Paris. So that's absolutely insane. And let's not forget there are dozens of people there with TSA, Department of Homeland Security, that are actually on this no-fly list. Right. This is the U.S. You know, you there should be no secret fly list. And of course, you have a exactly. right due process. Including you have a conservative congressman who ended up on the terror no-fly list. This is uh, Representative Tom McClintock, who, when he was a state senator, <laughs> actually tried to go to an airport. He couldn't board a flight. Uh, when, when I asked why, I was told I was on a government list, McClintock said, calling the whole experience Kafka-esque. My first reaction was to ask, why am I on that list? We can't tell you that. What are the criteria you use, I asked. That's classified. I said, how do I get off this list? The answer was, you can't. Right. So this is a perfect way to institute gun control. Just put people on a no-fly list, then they automatically can't get a gun. It's all done with computers. There's no way to get off of it. You don't know how you got on it. Boom, right. it, it's secret so you're controlling tribunal. controlling travel, mm -hmm. you, your gun control, it's kind of all wrapped up in a pretty little bow. Yes, and there. this could be used for political enemies, which this guy's a conservative, so... You never know how he yeah, got McClintock on that McClintock is a very, you know, criminal sounding <laughs> yeah, exactly. terrorist team. Now, the other thing Trump said yesterday, I actually shot this on my cell phone. I tweeted it out. Trump basically came out and said, if you kill a cop, I'm going to have an executive order, which you're going to get the death penalty. Here's that clip. And I said that one of the first things I do in terms of executive order, if I win, will be to sign a strong, strong statement that will go out to the country, out to the world, that anybody killing a policeman, policewoman, police officer, anybody killing a police officer, death penalty, it's going to happen, okay? Can't go, we can't let this go. You know, and it sort of seems like he's pandering to all the sides there. And I understand, you know, cops, they put their life in danger every single day. And, you know, he's thinking that there should be some sort of a precedent there. But we also have a huge issue with corrupt policing in this country right now. You just had the story of the cop who came out and he was raping women in yes. his uniform. Using his authority there. Right. This is a former Oklahoma police officer. He's been found guilty now on uh, four charges of first degree rape and 14 other counts. He was targeting women in the low income neighborhood that he patrolled. So he's mm -hmm. preying on these women who feel like, you know, they can't speak up or speak out about what's happening to them because they're, you know, maybe they're violating parole or something like that. So, you know, we have something like that. Um, there's also a story coming out of the activist post cops crossing the thin blue line and have actually they leaked information uh, that exposed racist police officers were actually planting drugs and guns on a thousand black men. He tried um, a lot of these police officers tried to expose this mm -hmm. years ago, but they were silent. They were investigated. They were investigated. Yeah, that's how it and works. then the other guys went on to become the mayor, you know. And, and here's my final word on that. You know, police officers, when they're not writing tickets and harassing people for doing little small petty things, you know, they do have a dangerous job. But nobody's forcing them to do that job. It's a volunteer position. If you don't like the position, if you don't like putting your life on the line for your community, then don't get that job. 
Okay, and I don't think we should be putting people on a higher pedestal because then that that's going to create a recipe for a whole lot of other problems. Right. And I think that we need to fix the issues that we have and possibly not use taxpayer dollars uh, to pay off these corrupt cops, maybe go into the pension mm -hmm. and then maybe it'll, you know, invite other police officers to speak up. When, you know, they see one of their boys in blue, you know, being corrupt. There you go. Well, Rob, do thank you so much mm -hmm. for joining me and thank you all. That's our show for tonight. We'll see you again here Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.